very much amazed. Home elevators has a huge scope. Uh, elevators require regular maintenance for sure. Planning to expand our units and manufacture elevator equipments in Hyderabad. If you are going for UPVC or any other material, you need to go for a grill. Welcome viewers to My Startup TV. Uh, we are at the in the Industrial Innovation and Technology Expo 2023, uh, organized by FTCCI in Hyderabad. This is the day two, and we can already see, feel the buzz. We can hear the buzz here. Uh, I think it's, it started off with a, on a great note uh, on day one. Today, I have with me uh, Avinash Chella, who's the founder CEO of Cube IoT. And let's understand. They have put one of the stalls here, and let's understand you know what their business into. Uh, they're doing some amazing products with a cutting edge technology, state of art. Uh, so let's talk to them and understand what the company is into and how, what kind of product they're building and how they're going to revolutionize the construction of the real estate industry with it. Avinash, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. So Avinash, let's start by understanding you itself, you know, Avinash as a founder, CEO of the company. Tell us something about you. I'm very much amazed to see the outstanding response what we are getting in over uh, FTCCI stall, which we have placed just nearby the stage. And uh, See, I started my journey into uh, entrepreneurship in 2006 when one day I got stuck in an elevator for about two hours. And uh, then I have realized that if there is any company which can give instant service uh, within one or two hours, it would be very helpful. Then I found that there is no company such then I started a lift maintenance company in 2006-07 and then later on immediately within six to seven months I have realized that uh, having maintenance company is not just enough until and unless it is your elevator. So our, our, our first product is cube elevators, our, we started our journey with that and in Hyderabad we have installed so many elevators which are hydraulic home lifts, which are electric traction elevators, machine room lifts, machine room less elevators, screw based elevators, rack and pinion lifts, uh, goods elevators, you name any type of elevator we are into manufacturing of uh, different types of elevators and starting from two passenger up to uh, you know about 50 passenger we can uh, provide elevators with and we started this whole journey by the so our first product is actually elevators for about 10 years we uh, you know start uh, we supplied elevators and then in 2017 we have named the whole organization as cube iot which stands for internet of things so, because uh, with the latest innovation and technology which is developing across the globe, we thought we should bring it to our company, to our country and explore new opportunities, uh, you know, uh, export our products across the globe with the latest uh, uh, smart elevators. So we have made our elevator which is voice, we, we made it a voice operated elevator. You can operate the elevator with your mobile and the panels uh, earlier you have a regular uh, stainless steel panels. We have changed those panels and uh, integrated them with the new uh, touch panels technology. So then with the uh, uh, new uh, 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 item to the cart of touch panels, we started supplying touch panels to homes as well, apart from elevators. So our uh, Cube IoT, apart from elevators, as we have entered into touch panel manufacturing, so you can replace all your old switchboards with the uh, latest, you know, 100% uh, uh, reusable, uh, with 100% reusable plastic, you can have a beautiful touch panel with your family photo or a beautiful scenery of Mona Lisa. So, like, uh, if you look at constructions, generally you will observe all the uh, button switches are hidden to one of the corners. Now, with this technology available, you can have a proper switchboard. It can be center of the hall as a beautiful uh, photo frame and it can have touch switches also. So, with Internet of Things, we have elevators, we have touch switches which are integrated with Alexa and your mobile or Google Home voice control and we have switchable glasses as well. Oh, that's interesting a big range of or a, you know a, a huge range of products that you're doing and within elevators you kind of different varieties which can be customized based on customer requirement now I understand it so I, we also now we regularly see paper ads and TV ads coming up where people are trying to say you know promoting uh, uh, home elevators 
where do you see the market today? What is the size of the market and where do you see it's going in, in coming time? See, home elevators has a huge scope. Uh, example, if you just think about, you know, Hyderabad, as a, you know, Hyderabad is a growing city. You go to GHMC and get the stats of how many uh, elevators uh, or how many buildings are getting constructed in a month. Uh, we came to know with a proper analysis. Uh, I'll tell you how we have done that analysis, but we came to know about 3000 homes are getting constructed and getting handed over every month in and around Hyderabad that is in our Telangana state. So uh, out of which 10% are apartments, rest all are independent houses. If it is an independent house, if it is more than a floor, ground plus two floors, if you don't have an elevator inside your building, the second floor is going to become a, you know, basically no one is going to use that. It will become a storeroom. So uh, people are opting for this new technology of home elevators in almost every house because now in especially Hyderabad, you can see per, per SFT cost in a villa is costing about 8,000 rupees. Imagine your second and third floors in a villa are not utilized at all. So you are at loss of money, right? And elevator is only a product where in which it adds value to a building. Imagine a apartment ground plus three floors without an elevator, each flat would cost about 30 lakh rupees. If you have an elevator, each flat would cost about 40 lakh rupees. So, so elevators are value add to your house, even if it's an independent villa, right? So the uh, the obvious question is you know around safety of the you know of these elevators uh, because um, regular maintenance would be required in home domestic you know maintenance is usually ignored as compared to in gated communities let us say flats where there is a maintenance corpus people spend money on maintenance required whereas in a domestic one you know probably people would not spend so much so sa safety is that something would be of a concern when coming to elevators all across the globe, there are some safety standards. And in our country, you have BAS standards. So any installation company should follow all these guidelines of elevator standards, which are already there. Uh, however, in some states, it is mandated. In our state, it is yet to be mandated. So for now, we have safety standards, but there are no rules by the government. What my question was, you know, if you see, Maintenance is not on the priority list, you know, when it comes to domestic household, right? If somebody was to ignore that, would that be a safety concern for a domestic or a, a home lift? Absolutely. See, for elevator, just like a vehicle, elevator is vertical transportation, right? So it should have all the safeties and the maintenance should be done regularly. If anyone ignores safety, then uh, uh, you know it, it may cause any kind of accident. So that is the reason uh, government should have some mandate rules on to how a lift should be installed, who should install the lift, like in all other states like Karnataka and uh, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, Delhi, you have certain rules. If someone doesn't follow the rule, there is penalty. Uh, Telangana government uh, also it, it formed a uh, lift act, but it is yet to be implemented. Hopefully, after these elections, we'll get a lift act as well. So. Yeah, so uh, elevators require regular maintenance for sure and you cannot ignore on it. So Indian market is very price conscious market, right? So uh, if somebody wants to know what does it cost to have a two man lift or a four man lift, how would you give a costing? Is it per, per square feet? How does it work? Uh. Elevators, uh, so sometimes we get uh, calls asking for, uh, sir, uh, do I get elevator for a lakh rupee? Okay, so no, you will not get an elevator for a lakh rupee. Elevators as of now are little expensive, uh, especially in Indian market. If you see most of the parts we are, we are importing at uh, manufacturing setups needs to uh, come in our country. So as of now, few parts are imported. So especially home lifts are very expensive. The starting range of a home lift starts from about 6 lakh rupees for with a manual door elevator. If it is a hydraulic lift, which has uh, no pit requirement and no headroom requirement, it costs about 6 lakh rupees. And generally, if the size is small, the lift cost is more. Why? Because if it is a standard six passenger elevator, uh, you have more apartments which are using the same standard six passenger elevator. So the cost is 
or average because all the parts which we buy for a six passenger elevators are standardized, standardized most of the time. Whereas in a two passenger elevator, uh, because there is a lot of customization which needs to be done, the cost is as of now it is on the higher side. But hopefully in coming years, uh, India will have um, better manufacturing facilities and we are also planning to expand our units and manufacture elevator equipments in Hyderabad. So making the cost on lower end. That was my next question actually that you as an innovation company, uh, what Cube IT going to get into manufacturing of some of the parts that you're importing? Uh, you already answered that. So what I would like to know is, uh, if you are planning to get into that, what is the size of the market for that particular part, if you could talk about? See, uh, basically it's a very simple calculation. Like in, in, in India, there are more than 12,000 lift installation companies. E and uh, Johnson, Schindler, Tyson, Mitsubishi, Kohn are our competitors who are uh, multinational companies. We have also supplied lifts to UAE and Mauritius. In, in, whole world is looking at Indian market because there is rapid growth in construction industry over here. And the market size is so huge. Like each elevator would cost about on an average 5 lakh rupees. And if you just uh, multiply 5 lakhs with about 3000 elevators just in uh, uh, Telangana and Andhra, just multiply with 20 states at least. So uh, the market is about 3000 crores market is there for elevators per month. So the business is so huge. But uh, once if we have regulations like how you have in other countries, then the entire uh, industry will be streamlined. As of now, the industry is unorganized. We are also waiting for, uh, you know, for one rule across the country so that, you know, an elevator company in Hyderabad can, uh, as of now, can't install lifts in Bangalore. Because again, you should take license in Bangalore. But imagine you have a single rule across the country. So we'll have uh, better opportunities throughout the country. But and you get a better market place. Yes. But as of now, once we become a manufacturer, currently we are OEM. We manufacture few parts, rest parts, as I have mentioned, we are importing from other states and other countries. So uh, manufacturers has a better opportunity because supply of goods, anyone can do. But installation of lift is regulated and there is a license system in it. Now coming to the other product that Cube IoT do, I know you are into specialized doors, uh, you know, into windows. So if you could talk about, you know, architectural lighting, if you could talk about that as well. See, uh, now uh, you can, uh, you understood that we are manufacturing elevator cabins, right? And when, when we can manufacture an elevator cabin with a CNC machine, the same machine, with the same machine, we can also uh, manufacture a door and a window. So basically we are currently using Tata steel uh, uh, with galvanized iron and manufacturing beautiful wooden finished steel doors. And also we have uh, manufacturing windows with composite panel. Uh, to talk about advantages of, you know, uh, wooden finish steel door first, in our country, most of us like that wooden finish, right? Over here also you can see wooden finished, you know, tables here and all. So uh, when people like wooden finish, but uh, uh, each door, if you need to manufacture, you need to cut down two trees. So a uh, 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 whole planet is uh, conscious about how it is uh, uh, with global warming, how it is going to affect our planet and all. So to save the planet also, there should be some new regulations. And more importantly, advantages for a customer who buys a steel door compared with a wooden door is, wooden door, uh, it changes size with the weather conditions. If it is a rainy season, you may, it is a rainy season we have entered, right? You can also see in your home that, you know, some doors will uh, get, uh, keep getting stuck. But whereas in steel door, it, it is always uh, the same door what you will have. And imagine that you have a wooden door and you use it for about 20 years. Okay, then you will scrap it out. You will not get anything, right? Whereas in case of a steel door, even if you scrap it after some time, uh, Tata says that uh, their steel will not, uh, uh, you know, uh, get rust for about 50 years at least. But even uh, if you just think about it, after 20 years, if you need to change these doors with the new doors, even if you scrap it, you will the uh, steel rate will always go high and you will get back whatever investment you have done. So we uh, are giving customer, when, if you, uh, Tata has their own uh, product called Tata Pravesh. Now we are doing cube steel doors and windows and we are associated with uh, a manufacturer called Axis who has a manufacturing setup in uh, Hyderabad itself. So our cube uh, steel doors have the speciality of uh, the 
customization. Generally, whatever size you want, even for your existing house, if you want to replace the doors, or if it is a school, if it is a hospital, if it is a, a you know a shopping mall, whatever custom sizes requirement you have, just like how we are customizing our elevators to the required size, we are uh, customizing doors and also windows to the requirement of the client. And generally, we take about 30 days to deliver our uh, steel doors and windows, whereas for elevators, we take about 90 days to install the elevator. Coming to our windows, our windows come with composite material, like the window frame is made out of uh, galvanized iron and uh, the uh, it has inbuilt grill. You, if you are going for UPVC or any other material, you need to go for a grill on top of the window which may look very ugly because you need to get it fabricated from outside and you need to get it fixed on top of the window whereas when you look at our window it has inbuilt grill facility and the grill is also made out of galvanized iron so you have a galvanized iron grill galvanized iron door frame and openable windows and sliding windows which are made out of aluminium and if you want a mesh to it we have stainless steel option galvanized iron option uh, you know we have fixed meshes sliding meshes and also uh, roll on meshes so we have multiple options in window segment as well that's impressive uh, range of products. Also, one advantage is with your uh, iron uh, uh, doors and windows, wherever there are a problem of termite, you know, this can, Absolutely. you know, Absolutely. you save that. So, uh, now coming to the event itself, uh, how has been the uh, experience at Expo? What are your thoughts? See, I got amazing connects over here. Uh, this event is outstanding. Mr. Varun, who is joint director here, he has helped us a lot. Mr. Kiran, who has actually introduced us to FTCCI, was so cordial. So, uh, it, it is happening in a very good way. See, I came to meet you also here. And yesterday, there was a team from Vietnam who said that they'll help us in exporting our pro products to Vietnam. So, I met uh, our energy minister. I told him about uh, Lift Act uh, and he said that, you know, he'll also help us and our industry as well. Well, uh, many congratulations and uh, all the best uh, to you in your future. And I hope your Vietnam uh, export business starts off. Thank you. Thank so you. Much.